Hello everybody, welcome to the final game of week three of the Super League. We have Seabros with his Dark Elves, um, having just lost the toss to Andy Devo. Andy Devo choosing to receive with his uh, Necromantic there. Very standard, four guard, three block, and um, lots of dodge and block and wrestle for Seabros. Both totally standard teams, two top coaches. They are first and second in the league right now, so very exciting. And in the booth, we Dimmy is on his way, but he's playing Blood Bowl. What a lunatic. And uh, we have Fymir filling in for him, and Hargrim because he doesn't like Seabros. Hello! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hargrim doesn't like anyone, because he goes to me when he was in Edinburgh, you know? We're going to meet for pints, and I am a member of the Scotch Metal Whiskey Society. I could have taken both of them there, you know, to have some quality whiskeys, but nah, they prefer to go to some random tourist trap, uh, fake Irish pub, you know? Outrageous. <laughs> outrageous, outrageous. That's a scandal. That's the biggest scandal I've ever happened in Blood Bowl. <laughs> it quite possibly is the biggest the biggest scandal we've ever had. <laughs> oh dear. So um I mean, we've got we've got a uh, interesting setup here, just everyone on the line. That's probably, that might be better actually, might it, than uh, the setting up normally people set up like a you know this exact thing, but two squares back, right? Oh, well, not sorry, one square back. Interesting to put them on the line. I guess not scared of uh, of them being taken out because they're strong. Yes, uh, not, Baron Bucky. not so recently, right? It's like that's about like over six months ago now. I mean, it? I mean, it's this year. That's recent <laughs> enough, right? <laughs> this year. <laughs> I don't remember exactly when it was. I think it was like April. April, uh, something like that, or February or March. I don't know. It happened. <laughs> it seems ages ago to me. Like, really, really ages ago. Um, but yeah, it was a big, a massive scandal of Blood Bowl cheaters getting caught. I mean, no, sorry, the only person who has ever cheated. Of course. Right. Of course, they, de they definitely caught the only person who ever cheated. It's not that obviously loads of people cheat and they finally caught one. It's that he's the only person who's ever cheated. Yep, yep, definitely that. 100%. <laughs> I've never met, uh, heard of any cheating in, in Blood Bowl. <laughs> Liars and fake uh, people. <laughs> uh, mention at least two. At least two. But uh, cheaters, impossible. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, cheating never happens. Ooh, in life, right? I hate this from Davo, letting the two plus out. But he kind of, he kind of, I don't know why I put that one there. Like, this one here it has to be better over here, right? That's weird. Surely it's better as all to base with a fleshy and then blitz with the other one. So you've got the fleshy base. This is, uh. I don't like this position from Davo. No. Oh, he's blitzing that one. But uh, no, I neither do I. This this is inviting pressure, isn't it? I mean, he did it versus me, didn't he? In the in the second half of our game uh, against my lizard men, he, he dominated the first half. Like every block he made was a stun, and then second half he just did this kind of thing, just invited pressure, and he's failed to pick up. I mean, we're going straight for the throat here as uh, zebras, aren't we? This guy could come up here. He can blitz down the side. He can get loads of pressure on. Wow. Wow. This is on for Seabro, unfortunately. Yeah, huge. What a shitter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and before I forget, and before I forget, and before Dimi arrives, let's dedicate this game to our viewers in Algeria. Oh, very North topical. Africa, which recently has been a very mentioned country during the Olympics. And the currency is the Algerian dinar. The national flower is the Irish tectorum. And the national dish is the couscous. No. Oh. Oh, he's out of move. He's oh, he's got a GFI, hasn't he? Because he's blocking everything there. Like he literally has to GFI now. He just has to. There's no he's choice. He's debasing it. I can hear the cogs in his brain grinding. Nah, man, he had a GFI there. I think. I mean, maybe not, because he, he just does an extra dodge here, and so, yeah, no, no, he was probably right. Because <laughs> he can just dodge, can't he? Yeah, he can just dodge. Just two pluses with dodge skill. It's fine, yeah. which is better than a GFI. 
and he's got this one up here. I, I don't know. I would have rather cut another player through. Like I would have maybe he's made it. Maybe he's even made it like a double GFI, right? Up blitz with somebody else, so that um, like maybe this guy could have dodged back and blitzed. You know, done the blitz himself, and then like come up to here. Um, here, and then this guy goes three to there, right? So he's like, you do something like that. Oh god, that's terrible, C Bros. You loon. <laughs> he's baiting. He's baiting Devo with surfing his his best player. Um, I'm not sure that's a good idea. This is what we in the industry call sub Gucci. Yeah. I mean, this is a good spot already, right? Like, this is a good spot. There's no need to just give him this as well. I would have definitely, like, done the... Where was he here? One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. He could have been, like, here. Really. He could have at least been here. It seems crazy to just give him a free surf. I mean... I'm, but if how free, will goes how for free the serve, is the surf? If Devo was, uh, goes for the serve, that's the blitz loss. Yeah. And he's going to need the blitz to try to... I mean, he should Do blitz something. this guy. Obviously, he should blitz this guy. But still, um, like the this is obviously the positional blitz, right? Because that lets you link up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI, and then get all these guys back. So th this is obviously the positional blitz hitting this guy. But, um, you know, he might think about trying to cage here and run the wolves back and stuff and the wraiths. So he might be able to cage here and get the surf as well. I just wouldn't give him the chance to do it you know like i just wouldn't give him the chance to but yeah okay he does he does do the right move <laughs> outrageous very from unlike Dave. andy yeah. very unlike andy <laughs> yeah he's taking it seriously he does the actual normal play <laughs> Like, also, you can kind of, like, get bracketed here as well. Like, it's just not a good square to stand, is it, against people with wolves? I don't know. I just I just never want to be there, honestly. Like, I just never want to be there. <laughs> sometimes sometimes you have to play against the psychopathy that some coaches bring to the table. <laughs> like when I play. Mmm. So you, you can get here without having a GFI, so that's probably... What it'll do, you don't want to have to GFI, do you? you don't want to G well, or rather, you don't, have, you don't want to GFI if you don't absolutely have to. But the pickup fail is a disaster. Maybe he should, yeah, maybe he could have put like the first ghoul there while he gets it anyway. One in nine to just lose. Zebros is not afraid of five plusing in to hit the ball in one days, but that doesn't seem very good now, does it? A bit of uh, behind the scenes analysis for you. Zebros uh, and I have actually discussed a lot uh, over the past few months about when he needs to dive in for the cage dives. Because every time he's played against me, he's done like the full basing up by turn two and given me a shit ton of hits. And now he's actually starting to play a little bit more reserved, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. I think he might be doing it right now, though, because this, this, you know, the the flesh is isolated, and Epic so deep in his own half. If there's ever a time to go in on turn two, I think this is the time. So maybe he will go in. I don't think he will. The position is not very good to go in on. Do you reckon? It doesn't look pretty. Like you'd be too uphilling. No, no, like not not going for the ball, just going like contact, right? Like contact and pressure. Oh yeah, clinch clinching here isn't a problem, but going for the ball this turn is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't like going for the ball, but I would I would definitely go for like lots of pressure, every, like base everyone. You know, you just said about like basing everybody on turn two. I think he'll be basing everybody on turn two right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dodging and stab the oh my god yeah dodging and stab isn't even that bad it genuinely isn't even that bad you can do it like last 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 action can't you and it's just a free roll oh that's actually not bad at all whoa late flame blonde dodge stab yeah I don't hate it especially because like you're playing Devo as well right so you're getting yeah I think he's gonna do it I think he's gonna do the dodging you know dodging stab. 
He, he does, does also have a blitzer in scoring range to do it. Exactly, yeah. Oh, dice. He makes the dodge. Oh, sorry, I'm not sharing the thing. I'm on he, Yeah, he failed the stuff. <laughs> Boo. Right, there's the... Uh, I'm sharing the... Sharing the stream now. Dice. He's got the emote game, hasn't he, Seabros? You've got to give him that. Seabro <laughs> has banger emote game. <laughs> That was actually pretty nice, the, the dodging stab, because it was basically free. He's already like got loads of people tagged. He had the guy in scoring range. That was a that was a pretty nice thing. I think I would have dodged off one of these players on the fleshy. Um, but like, this is Probably okay, because the, the fleshy blitzer. can't 1D, can he, this turn? So next turn you can 1D it, maybe, or maybe 2D. But yeah, I would have maybe dodged off the blitzer and like, moved him over here. But um, not terrible at all. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's blocking the ball carrier. This is a disaster for Devo. <laughs> this looks so bad for Devo. <laughs> yeah, like, because how on earth, like, surely, like, with the witches around, that, you know, one of them can change something to make something happen. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is... And this all, this all really stems from a problem on Devo's turn one, where he commits too much to the front. Instead mm. of and just has the two ghouls back and then doesn't re-roll the pickup. Yeah, yeah, very strange. Very similar to what he did versus me. Like you know, just just thinking, oh, I'll just bang, 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 and then like all of a sudden, whoa, there's a frenzy trap just quietly two into one, and not not like a brutal frenzy trap, but still, you know, that could have gone wrong, couldn't it? Oh, they did it. oh, down to one re-roll by turn three. Yikes. Mm. Oh, oh, oh yeah, this is not going well. Yeah. Oh, well, that's okay. I mean, that was the right player because, yeah, get the fleshy in here. You really want to reconnect the fleshy. So. Gets a full pow. On the assassin and the navy break as well. But surely, surely Sea Bros can do something here. Can you shoot the play guys? <laughs> I mean, he can definitely just hit this wraith, and if he powers it, hit the ball, can't he? That's that's because he because because frenzy means Devo can't hit the blitzer. So <laughs> if he powers this uh, wraith, he's in. He's looking pretty good. Oh, here wraith. comes Demi. Demi Jim Rath in the house. Whoa. he's been playing with his knobs. Hello, Dimmy. Hello, Dimmy viewers. Welcome to two good hello. players after watching Dimmy. Oh, hello, Dimmy. Hello, Dimra. <laughs> Just joking. I'm sorry. I wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're good players because they've made one critical decision um, a lot better than Dimmy did. Oh, wow. Okay. Which was they're not playing knobs. They're playing Dark Elves and Necro, two of the best teams. Me, but the Dark Elves has assassins, so that's always a controversial thing. Yeah, I mean, you know? <laughs> in, I mean in... they're still able, they're still able to backstab other people like Hargen and McKay. When they refuse to meet me or uh, inform me that they were in town, you know, but <laughs> still. Oh, dear. oh, this is a disaster for Seabros. He just spent four players to punch a fleshy. I think he definitely should have gone for the ball, right? He could have just dodged out, stood here, dodged out, stood here, 2D, gets the pow, follows. I don't know where he stands. I guess he oh, I guess he sidesteps to here, doesn't he? So you only get a 1D on the ball. But still it's a 1D with Wrestle. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's okay. Why yep. not? It is, because it also amps up the pressure that Davo has to deal with this turn. Yeah. This coming turn. Yeah. Oh, foul appearance. Well, that wouldn't have worked either. Wow, what a terrible wow, turn for Seabros. Yeah. <laughs> he tries to. He makes three blocks, and two of them are pushes on a fleshy, and one of them's a foul appearance. Oh, God. What a disaster. Terrible. And two disaster. And, yeah. Absolute disaster. At least, on, like after last turn, at least he's got this guy basing the uh, the fleshy, so that you know at least the fleshy is not going to get back unless he blitzes him free, which he might. He's only got one reroll though, hasn't he? So he does, one in nine. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, no, you can blitz him with the uh, yeah, blitz the wolf. Yeah, blitz him free with the wolf. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I taught. Yeah, now the whole team's back together. So now, I uh, think Seabros should, like, you know, disengage, regroup, screen, and then hopefully with it being turned four, he can, like, uh, you know, hold him off for long enough to shut him out. But I think he should switch gears from trying to assault the cage into just stopping him scoring. Uh, the problem is that most of his team is out of position to just switch gears. Yes, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, <laughs> but I think that's what he has to try and do. He has to try and rescue all these players and get back in front because I mean he's already down to nine players. But you know the fact that the fact that Andy's so deep. Yeah, it's going to be hard for Andy to get forward for sure. He's only got what like the wolf and two movement six guys, and then the two movement seven guys like the the fleshies. And if he can disengage from the fleshies. And I guess the wolf is getting punched here as well, right? Just blitz the wolf and yeah, then blitz the wolf. do all the two pluses. Yeah, yeah. Look, this this guy's got a two plus at the moment. So at the Gotta moment, everybody two can... zombies. Everything's a two plus at the moment, and mm. there's no he hasn't pinned him in at all. I guess that zombie can make okay, the. Now he has. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you free two out the back. Like I say, just blitz the wall. Oh! Huge. One in nines. Well, now we can just punch the fleshy. <laughs> I mean, now he can regroup easily, can't he? Because he can just punch one yeah. fleshy and uh, and then blitz this wolf and just have a whole team in front of him again. So I think this is. But he might. I think he might be committed now, in the same way as I was committed to stopping a strip ball wrestler, <laughs> even after I'd removed it. <laughs> I spent two turns <laughs> guarding it in strip ball, even though he died. He didn't have it anymore. So, you know. Well done, Jim. Thanks. That's a weird sorry, Jim. Hmm. Well, it was into another hit, wasn't it? But Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. So, keeping the line high. Oh, tagging. Punching. Punchy, punchy. I think, yeah, he's he's probably used to these golems getting cast when he punches them, right? <laughs> hey! he's, he's, he's probably thinking, what's going on? They're not dying. Yeah. Me <laughs> see Russell Click do nothing when <laughs> sucking them up with Russell. Yeah. Yeah, that was true. As bad as my mistake was, it was overshadowed by <laughs> by souls. <laughs> that was oh, incredible. That was incredible. Yeah, I like this. I like this from Seabros here. Just get, just stay in the way now, because it's just because it's turn five for Andy now. Yeah. And Andy still needs to make progress down the pitch somehow. Yeah, yeah. He's got to get penetration, and he's he's deep in his own half, isn't he? Penetración. <laughs> exactly, penetración. That's the surprising uh, translation of blitz. Yeah. <laughs> That's been going on uh, for decades in a uh, Spanish blood ball. <laughs> I think he's just going to blitz that line over the wolf and just, yeah, uh, here we go. Hmm. 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 And this is where the movement becomes an issue because everyone's really freaking slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the thing is, if he moves to one side, it's easier for the Dark Elves to shut him down as well, right? Because then they've just got to shut down half the pitch instead of all of it. Yep. But I don't think he really has a choice to be a fair. To him. Yeah. Oh, he's going to put foul in. Ooh. Here we go. Yeah. And yes, Jagan, yes, he was he was absolutely fucked a couple of turns ago, yeah. <laughs> he got he got the two stuns, didn't he? And then he got the two stuns on his turn and then uh and then like all of the nothing on Seabros' turn. That really turned yeah. it around for him. It took the momentum out of Seabros drive. Yep. I mean it doesn't even matter about the foul, right? You can just let him up your bludger. Like this isn't 
I guess the only thing is it like maybe it like it makes a chain right with the uh with the wolf. But it doesn't really go anywhere. <laughs> Does it make a chain with a wolf? Not really. No, so, it doesn't. It could have made a chain <coughs> with a wolf. Like that that's what I was thinking. That's the only thing that can make a chain at all there. Um but it doesn't really doesn't really work, does it? Yeah, he's not fouling. And it, it, the other problem he's got is his other wolf is trapped, alright? It's uh Yeah. And he can't really stand him up either this time. No. Yeah, it doesn't. He's got a no three. foul though. No, no, but then let's see to need it as he's not going to help he'll double power. So I guess Seabros can just, again, just like dodge everyone away and get in the way. The problem is, like, I guess the like the passive defense is worse than it used to be, isn't it? But the thing is, Andy's only got one reroll now, so it's not so bad. But And it's sad to, like, you know, to get out of this half nil nil is. Zebra's going to be disappointed a little bit, but I mean, he has taken two removals, so it's not too bad to come out with this nil nil. Um, the goal, the goal for a defensive drive should always be nil nil. If you can turn over and score on your opponent, that's just a bonus. Yeah. I like to be three nil up on my opponent's drive. Yeah, me too. To be honest. <laughs> I mean the goal it varies right because it depends how they act and stuff because if they like start driving down and trying to score a two turn well then you're really quite happy to be 2-1 two, two up at half time aren't you so like you, like, you know often you won't even try to stop them right if they, if they, if they charge down a side then all of a sudden I'm, I'm much happier with them just scoring on turn two than me battling and battling and then you know them ending up uh, scoring on turn eight Oh, pushed him out. Which we've all we've all been a victim of. <laughs> oh, we had to. Otherwise, it surfs his blitzer. <laughs> still, it still surfs his blitzer if he wants. So. Yeah, it's uh. Interesting. Seaport is that like, really likes punching flesh columns, doesn't he? Yeah. I'm not sure about this from Seabros. Yeah, it's. It's just holding him, isn't it? It's like it's just holding him. Yeah, true. If he surfs, if he uses his blitz to surf his blitz, or he's not getting forward. So yeah, it's probably all right. Well, not better than all right. Do you know what he shouldn't have done? Is leave this guy, leave this wolf on one. He should have had. Him yeah, because he can. Well, he wasn't gonna. I don't think he was obviously yeah, planning on that dodge. Yeah. Working, and then he was gonna be fine. But yeah, now the switch to the left side looks great, especially with the golem. Yeah, yeah. I think that was more important than keeping this guy here. I think this guy should have stayed there, and then you know try and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and stand that blitzer there. I think it was more important to hold that rather than because this is a double whammy of, of, uh, of getting Andy the wolf getting up wolf and in up, range. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas getting this wolf up, he, it, okay, he could get him up and he could serve, but he's not getting forward. And then this is a bit messy here, getting knocked downs and trying to blitz through here anyway. So yeah, I think and it's much easier to get back. I think this was a. Bit of a mistake from Seabros. Of course, he won in nine as well, but I do think keep the player there first guaranteed and then try and fill. Like, I think that was a, this square, I think, was a bigger priority than this square. And he's going to be stretched though, for sure. This one. And, like, the thing is, is he's probably leaving a wraith behind as well because he's probably taking that block with a wraith rather than the ghoul. So, like, he's leaving two guarders behind, right? So. Yeah, that's a good point. He probably is going to have to, with one reroll, he probably is going to, he's, well, he's really going to want to not have to block with it. <laughs> so he might go for the ghoul block. He does go for the ghoul block. Did he? Wow. Yeah. I guess he wants the two guarders up, right? That's... Yeah, and sidestep. It's one of them things, isn't it? It's like, that, that's what I find as like a decent player that's not a great player. It's, it's hard to know when to do shit like that. Because in your head, you're like, it's a blockless block. But <laughs> a blockless block? Yeah, exactly, exactly. But sometimes you just have to do it, right? Sometimes you have to say, well, I know it's not great, but I need both my guard guys up the pitch to protect this ball so they can do the thing here, yeah. The great thing is for, for Seabros is, of course, that that's like two agility three players are left behind. So there's literally only the wolf and the ghoul up that can handle a ball, but, you know, the bad thing is one of them's got it. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, he's surrounded with guards, so there's no way of dodging in here without it being uphill. Or a stab. And he just dodges the wolf out anyway. Yeah, this is the, this is the thing. I think this is a big mistake, this 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 player coming here. But never mind. Uh, well, Artemis, let's be honest. Everybody lets you down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's That was a big mistake, wasn't it? He should have, he should have held that guaranteed. And then try to get here. The, 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 not being here was nowhere near as bad as not being here. But you know who let me down, Artemis? <laughs> <laughs> Hargrim and Keshavis, when they came to Edinburgh to play Blood Bowl, they refused to meet me for a pint. <laughs> <laughs> After telling me that, yeah, of course, guaranteed, we will uh, tell you and send you a message. No worries. <laughs> wow. Outrageous. I'll make it up to you one day, Fymir. We both know that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Seabros has to get back in front here, doesn't he? He just has to, he has to dodge away and get back in front. Of that, there is no doubt. I'd probably not have put the assassin there, though, because my assassin is my main ball sacking tool, so I'd have put him in the, in the protected line. Mm. He's not sacking any other way than the, than the assassin. I can yeah, it <laughs> but at the same time, it's it's a bludger, right? So it's it's not a bludger. That's exactly the point as well. Oh my god, <laughs> he hasn't got block, has he? Yeah, no. sorry, ignore me. Disregard. <laughs> errata, errata. <laughs> so he's got to make all these edges. Mm -hmm. Has he blitzed yet? He hasn't no, blitzed yet. I guess he's gonna blitz the wall. I don't know that that the blitz on the wolf just feels the positioning really really bad. But it does. Are you talk about the one on the right. The one on the right, yeah, I, yeah, because you can't reach the. Yeah, center. you can't reach it. It just feels really really positionally bad. And then yeah, like you say, there's no one else easy enough to really blitz. Mm -hmm. Do you know what this this may be like? Just blitz that wraith on the right, like, yeah. which it seems so shit. But like, if you get him down, it really slows down his. Yeah, he's gone that way. You can still move back like afterwards. It's not you can get back here, can't you? Yeah, you can but that's, that's not terrible, it's, right? I mean Andy's just still got like a way of traversing down a pitch, right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought he might tag the flesh. I'm not sure it's correct, but I thought that's what he'd do. <laughs> I reckon, mate, honestly, I reckon you tag the Wraith rather than the Fleshy. Like the Fleshy's movement four, right? Mm. I, I think the Wraiths are gonna be more important. Like that's why Andy took the block with the goal in the first place is because he wants his wraiths up the pitch right so because mm. they are movement six and the goal's movement seven right that flesh column's going to get left behind at some point anyway yeah yeah he focused on the hitting the fleshies didn't he and I, and to be fair he did hit the ghoul one tried to hit a wraith once and foul appearance but um True. They're so good, aren't they? Wraiths are so freaking good. Like, they're incredible. Oh we, we, once they, they get a guard, so they're good. incredible. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before they get guard, they're a bit of shits. But... but yeah, foul appearance. And... Oh. Yeah, that was greedy, but I guess he had to do it. <laughs> you tag the race, they can't even tag you back because they have no hands. Way. But yeah, that's that's nice, isn't it? That was a nice non-knockdown for Seabrawls. Got a bit of luck. Yeah, now it's like he's probably going to hit him with a wolf, and now like the wolf is the fastest player, who's also a secondary scoring threat, right? So maybe he has to hit with the wraith now rather than the wolf, because what is it? it's turn seven? He needs to be in range this turn, and if he gets sacked, he needs oh, he blitzes, right? Okay, that yeah, makes sense. Blitz that makes sense. Oh, yeah. hasn't got him yet. Does get him now? Get some. Is this gonna? This can't be a sideline cage. I guess he can sideline with Div the Wraith. Divo likes right? sideline caging, so yeah, I think it will well, be. I don't think he's. I don't think he's got a choice. If you got the power on that zombie, you could have blitzed the bludger at the top and made it, like a bit more room. But I don't think he's really got a choice now. He's he's he's, he's sideline caged in in multiple games that I've seen with his with uh, you know this and the NAF game, the NAF tournament thing. Sometimes you have to. Mm -hmm. This is a surf one here, isn't it? Oh no, I guess not because they've got sidestep. Errata, errata. 
Rato, Rato. I didn't mean surfing the Wraith, I meant surfing the ball by like pushing it back into it and stuff, but... <clears throat> yes, Dodge Assassin is pretty good, isn't it? And this is what I mean, if Seaball has attacked the Wraith in the last turn, then he wouldn't have been able to do this. Yep. So I think you just, just cram everyone in, in and... Now. Yeah, cram everyone in and 5 plus stab. Let's go. Like he's right on the extreme, so at least you you know you can you can cover quite a bit of field, I guess. I mean, he could. It's not going to be great, but you could, if you're going to five plus in, he could just five plus in the front and then just uphill surf him. So don't do the stab; just five plus into that square and then just. Oh the yeah, wolf yeah, and, and just the wolf. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's probably better, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably better. I don't think you're going to stop him by like screening or anything here. You've got like five and a half players. So you're not realistically going to screen him. So... Uh. Yeah, the back... I don't think the screen back up with a stab is very good. So because the, the the screen backup isn't that good, I think maybe just going all in for the, the dodge surf is actually the correct play. Problem is, is like, if it fails, you're going to get like a blodger surfed with yeah, no apo. True. Oh no, he's, he's still got an apo. Yeah, true, the surf isn't good. <clears throat> yeah, and he's got this guy. So he's actually got like, he's got like five five to seven players to screen well no four yeah he's got like five and a half players to screen with and then that wolf on the on the right is still one. screwing for it as well yeah yeah he can get all the way in i just, just i feel like the screen isn't enough is the problem yeah i don't think it is not so with what, that wolf out there yeah, while it's good to have the backup of the screen i think it's probably not enough so maybe I think clinching is probably slightly stronger here, just like base the men's. Because the yeah. screen just isn't going to do enough. I don't know, what's it? He needs six for the screen, right? So he's got. He needs to do a 3 2 without dodge. Oh. Here we go, that's pretty nice. Mm. He's just yeah, stood him he... up. He's just stood him up. But he's not stabbing. He's not. So that means he is going for surfing. He is surfing. Oh wow! Uh, he's uh, on surf. Double, double surf as well, isn't it? Potentially uphill and uphill. Oh, <laughs> the he comes to your moat as well, <laughs> mate. Seaboys is like fast becoming my favourite player. Gets oh, the surf. get in, get in. <laughs> get the, the fact that one. he can score as well. This guy's a scoring threat, just quietly. The, the fact that he uh, emoted before doing it was just <laughs> yeah, like, that was pretty favorite, great. My favourite. His emote player. game is just the best. Andy Davo out surf. <laughs> is he dead? Is he dead, Jim? He's not dead. Oh my god, what a shit scatter. Okay, gets the wrestle. So that takes out another scoring threat. The ghoul is still a scoring threat. He's probably he gonna have to, to get do the, ball the... To the ghoul. Yeah. yeah. I do you agree the free free with the witch? Yes. I mean he has to... Yeah, but then he's not tagging the ghoul, so it's He's got to do the 2 plus first, right, to get the scoring threat yeah, in, and yeah. then he's got to do the 3-3. Three, three. And maybe even GFI, like, maybe even GFI here. He's got How two rerolls. Re he could double uh, GFI. He could just double GFI so he's untaggable. He doesn't. Okay, so he's got two. Well, that's 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 pretty decent, actually. But then, what, he's got, he's got to throw the pass now. But then that was two, that was two, two pluses. He's got, he's got to throw <laughs> yeah, the pass Yeah, no, I don't well. like that. I would have rather just done the two, two pluses with him to just get him clear. He might just he might just put, throw it to he here. Hasn't, he hasn't he hasn't done it. He hasn't, oh, he hasn't he declared hasn't a pass. pass. Oh no. He doesn't need to pass. He does because he's going to get surfed. <laughs> well, he's not going to get what? surfed. Yeah. yeah, that's true. But he's he, like Th the this double is... G this double G if I was way better than than moving the other one. Like just way better. Like he could have been untouchable. Like untouchable, untaggable, and hitable. This double G if I yeah. just got him free. That was. That was bad by Seabrawls to, to make these two pluses instead of these two pluses. And now he, he gets to hit him into the other zombie, but yeah. then. But the problem. Like, no one's got any fucking hands, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No one's got any hands. So the pal might stop the score. It probably doesn't, but it might stop the score. Yeah. Yeah. Gets there the you go. Yeah. I'm yeah, a break. I'm a break. And this guy player. could have been could have been back where he was. Yeah, helping the witch. Yeah, that was that was a big mistake from Seabrolls. Gets the stun as well. Outrageous. Outrageous. One, two, man. three, four, five, six. Yeah. Now he has to throw a pass as well. He can't hand off. Well. And they're like they're four plus, aren't they? He could he could like three two dodge. One two three one two three four five six. Oh no, so we'd have to go three. one two three yeah. four five six GFI GFI handoff. But he's so probably going to get tagged three, by two. the he's going to get tagged by the fleshy right probably. So that that'll make the the pass better anyway. Oh, they yeah. can hand off with one of these blitzers. No. Uh, yeah, but how does he clear that zombie? Dodge the assassin and stab him. <laughs> <laughs> Which? Oh, he's gone for the. He's gone for basing this one. Yeah, because I think that's what he's thinking. If he was Seaboy, he'd try and clear that zombie and then hand off to that guy to score. So Andy's not scoring. Oh my! Oh, he might do. No, he's not. <laughs> I just realised he's got it with his goo. He's got it with his goo. <laughs> What's going on? But no, it's turn eight. He's got nothing. Yeah, this looks pretty safe, doesn't it? Very he's got safe. A dodge. He's got to dodge that wraith, no? And then try and surf the fucking dodger. No, I guess he can't because he can't get a guard. <laughs> you can one day it. Oh, the stand up. Oh, yeah, he's in gonna... range. Yeah, he gets the surf. This is huge. What's this? He's got this witch. One, two, oh, three, fine. four, five, six, seven, eight. Like he could kind of try and surf this ghoul, I guess. He could dodge in. He could dodge in on a four plus gun and hit the ghoul out. You want to you want to do the four instead of the five for the surf. Yeah. The scatters are better. It's just that the, obviously one. One dice is, yeah, yeah, you've got to do it like that, yeah, yeah, you have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was the right idea, just that this was critical, this double GFI was critical. Then he's completely unassailable by anything, and then you can use the other one to back up the witch. It was, like, you can understand having, oh, two threats. Yeah, yeah, was, that's right. This was I, the I, same I, dice rolls to get a second threat, threat or, and just or, make this he, one untouchable. Or he declares pass with a witch and just throws yeah. it down the pitch. Yes, then... throwing it down the pitch would have been pretty good because then its PA doesn't yeah. matter at all, does it? The only thing that matters is oh, whether it's wildly inaccurate. It's not wildly inaccurate, yeah. yeah, yeah and then so you could have passed it like here. It is, yeah, it is yeah. sunny though, it is very sunny, so you'd have had an extra minus one. Oh, oh is it? Yeah, I don't know about that. Unless it was. Well, Andy, Andy hasn't got another turn. Oh, wait, right, you mean how the fuck do you get the ball to the other guy? Yeah, now, now it's this. The, now it's this. This blitzer then has to cancel these assists? assists I don't know, or... yeah. Oh yeah, the assassin cancels the assist. Okay, so there we go. So he's got two dice in the ball. And yeah, then this blitzer, gonna... this blitzer gets it and then passes it to this guy. Is he surfing him? No, 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 no. no. So that was the rush. Oh, he's made it. He's got the sack. Gets the rossel. Rossel. Oh! Oh, jump, he jump, can jump! jump. jump. One, yeah, I know, but it would be much better to have this guy here to get it, wouldn't it? <laughs> Than this guy going like, what the fuck is this? Three, four, five. How many rerolls? He's got no rerolls. Seven, so and then pass it in the end zone. Maybe so there's no intercept chance. Yep. It's just going to kill his blitz, isn't he? Yep. Should have been here, shouldn't he? Here we go. Three plus. Three plus, three plus, two plus. Rolls a two. I like the way he just got up. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> got up, scattered the ball. Oh, it's so weird. And then he's still up? That's weird, isn't it? Well, yeah, no, because he didn't die, basically. Like, So you're seeing the result of the injury, like, because he didn't break arm or whatever. Yeah, but he fell. He just stood up after he hadn't fallen. Yeah, because the game, like, the game yeah, does cause... weird things. So, you know, like, I just got an achievement like before they'd finished their turn so I knew the blitz that he was doing had failed because the achievement come so like the game knows the result of it before it displays yeah, it but he was still standing though Demi that's the point he'd failed the jump but he was still standing I guess because he was standing up for the second half right that yeah was he was standing idea. up for the second half exactly yeah. yeah yeah but it was really weird that he didn't just stay down till the 
conclusion of the play. Give them a break. <laughs> right, this is this is a tough LOS to deal with, isn't it? Yep. And I am uh, leaving. I still have some work to do. Well, good night. And Thank my you job very much. Here my job here is done. <laughs> yeah, see if I'm. Yeah, screw Hargrim and Keith. <laughs> yeah. Traitors. Traitors, both of them. Liars. Fake people. Oh, I mean, if you've seen Keith's tier list, then you'd never want to speak to him again, anyway. <laughs> anyway, see you later, guys. Yeah, cheers. Oh, see you. Adios. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Seabros dackering. Let's dacker. Dacker Seabros dacker. I believe in him. No, I just he's, he's not gonna dacker. No, I hate the dacker against Necro. Is he not a dacker? He hates the dacker. Oh, Does what he? A, what a loser! I swear I've seen him do it. I swear. He's I've never dackered in his life. That's what a, bullshit. He must be dackering. Look, he must be dackering. Come on, come on, Seabros. I believe straight, in you. Straight bullshit on that. I believe in you, Seabros, Dakar. Did he get both his KOs back as well? He's up he to did, and, yeah. and he failed his. Oh my god. Yeah, so he's only got one guy. Oh my god. So yeah, I mean this is pretty good. Like honestly, like for, for Seabros, there's only three players that can possibly score for Andy. <laughs> it's like, they're like lizard men, aren't they now? Uh, a little bit necro. So um yeah, you know he's almost got this he's got a Dakar. He's oh my god, he gets blitzed. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a like, six man blitz. <laughs> Fuck me. He can't surf anything, and he's like, it's it's not the worst. And the ball's really deep. It's not the worst. And this is this is the thing, isn't it? This is where like Andy might just overextend, fuck his defence because he's no, going it's forwards. A deep kick. And... It's a deep kick. There's no there's no fucking here. Then the, the thing about you know saying like a Dakar is bad against Necro. So is a fucking normal drive. Like this is the thing that always does my head in when people like say, oh you know. Dakarin against Andy, that's a bad idea. Dakar's only work against good players. And it's like, well, all right, then it's you just bit, try and not... play you just try and play a normal fucking drive versus Andy then. Like, do you know what I mean? Like it's not yeah. it's such it's a such, really... such a dumb argument that people I don't mean with. like Andy, I mean the fact that they've got two stand firmers that are strength four and they've got two sidesteppers with foul appearance. Yeah. Like But like they've got it, that if you play and... normally as well, Dimmy. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's what I'm but saying. But then they've also got they've got like two movement eights. Like yeah. wrestle like werewolves as well. But, but so they've got that if you play normally, and, and and those wolves are removing somebody every turn because they've got claws. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, but why? Like, I don't mean like. I mean, I quite like withdrawing, but not like fully withdrawing. If you see what I mean. Oh yeah, so, like, no, do, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go like I wouldn't like, go extreme. Back yeah, to the last yeah, two. you do like a semi sort of dacha. Mm. Oh god. Blitz is I don't. I definitely. I definitely don't like going all the way back because. I mean, the thing is with necro is like. Like the golems, really. Like if you can stun a golem, like it's it's a big if. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I like the dagger. I, I like the dagger here a lot. I did Dakar against Andy one time when I had dark elves, I think, and he had necro, and like it wasn't in it wasn't in NAF, It was in like you know ladder and i limited him to about like you know four blocks and he made four cars and i was like oh brilliant <laughs> <laughs> so that didn't work out great as you can imagine and then people were like oh i shouldn't have done it. and it's like well what have i done if i duck it i've just got everybody more people hit and it's just like it's just it's just shit isn't it there's no there's no good solution to this oh my god if it wasn't such a horrible deep kick yeah maybe you could have scooted around like you said but now he's got no choice but to bring everyone back to Dhaka. Literally no choice now. He has to at least cover for... for all the these wolf. three, all these three are coming back. Yeah. Undoubtedly. Yeah. <laughs> the forced Dhaka. <laughs> well, okay, they're not all coming back. Wow. He's looking for the surf. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Whoopsie. he can't maths though. <laughs> Don't. His idea was that this, the the wolf would push out this guy, right? That's that's what he thought was going to happen. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I've done that sort of thing before. You know, he's like, fuck. Wish I'd had any sleep. <laughs> <laughs> He's done that and then he's like, oh god, any sleep at all would have been pretty good. 
fuck me. FML. It's like what witch to here and then this guy back to there or something like that. And then dodge this off at the end. He, he could like go to here, right? So at least you've got like a bit of a high line. Yeah, I don't hate that. I try and keep that line as high as possible. The problem is then I've got like by doing all of this, you're still just getting smashed by. His yeah, he's team. gonna get he's gonna get absolutely wedged. Yeah, yeah, this is the problem. Oh what? You what? Tagging the wraiths, but just getting p plowed for no reason doesn't seem a great idea, does it? I don't know what he was thinking there. Leap difference. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. We should go to his head in the game, I think. I think he's probably head is in tatters with that fucked up surf attempt and getting blitzed on. But it's nil nil. He's got 11 players, he just needs to focus up and not not get blocked by block for no reason. Yeah, this next, uh, this next turn is going to be horrendous for him, but yeah. if yeah. he survives it, he's still got a chance. He 100% should have got everyone back, because now he's just getting like mauled by all these fleshies and everything. The thing is, that, like... <clears throat> He's opening up the switch to the right hand side with tagging that Wraith. Which is I mean, I think it might be worth it, honestly. I think that might have been worth it. Is he though? I would have rather been here and then hope that the Wraith went away, like, you know, like Wait, this is the thing, because if Andy slams in here on the left side, then like it's just we just go over to the right side and keeping that Wraith back and not like down the field is good for that. Mm. It's not great for anything else, but it's good for that. So you might as well continue to perform mental gymnastics. I mean, there is the mental game now, right? Like that, that I think that'll have taken a lot of him. That he, that you know, he messed up at the end of the first half. He could have been one nil up. Instead, it's nil nil. Like and that's that's still a great result, nil nil. But like he knows he could have been one nil up, right? If he'd like played a bit better and stuff, probably he's probably spotted that he could have just double GFI'd and then he'd have probably been all right or done the pass. You know, like he probably probably meant to declare the pass and didn't and stuff. So he's probably pretty aware that he's fucked himself here. And then he's got blitzed, and it's just horrible. And then he's gone for the surf wrongly, and he's just fucked himself even more. And why the fuck did Andy do that? I don't know, yeah. Does he get a player for that? Yes, he does, yeah. but it's pointless. You just let it go. I thought yeah, I'd, no, I'd, I I'd want to keep everyone it, trapped in between the fleshies. I don't know why he'd get somebody out of the fleshy trap. That was really weird. Misclick maybe? No, no, no. He's made a box. He's going to surf the witch. He's he's blitzing the witch in with the wolf, and he's going to try and surf the witch here. I think. No, he can't. He can. He can. Like the wolf on the right hand side is going to come round the back and blitz that. Oh, I can't get it behind the wraith. You know, maybe he's going to greed it and just one D into two D. Ah. There's no fucking surf here. There's, there's. Oh look! Well, I was only thinking. Thing. <coughs> so he I trapped think... he trapped people in between the, in between the fleshies and then let them all get out on two pluses with dodge. <laughs> yeah, so, that think, was shit. I think he was gonna surf and then and then obviously changed his mind. Nah, they went to fucking surf there. Uh, but I think that's why I think that's why he did that push like because it doesn't make any sense for him that witch whatsoever like no, yeah, and I, I think, think I think he had a sea bros moment. <laughs> like, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Oh no, it's not gonna work. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it seems really weird to free that witch though. I thought he was making a box to try and surf. He freed everybody. He freed everybody. Yeah. He, had, he had like he had them boxed in with with fleshies, and then and then by getting these out. This dodges away on a two, and he dodges away on a two. Like a gym cage. Oh, hey. The old Peravel cage. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. It wasn't a gym cage. It was. A, I did a Peravel cage. It's not a gym cage. Let's not spoil Peravel's moment. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm, 
tricky, tricky. He just wants to bang, doesn't he? This is the thing, it's like... He's gonna punch the wolf, isn't he? Yeah, gotta bang, Deep bro. Deep Browse is a greedy banger. Mm. And it's right, like, it's right. You can easily just get a removal here, right? There you do, he does. Oh, oh. man, that's... Oh, they fix the bug, don't they? Yeah, yeah regen, regen, uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, does it? Because this, this half is everything now. This half is everything. It is. It's, it's ending one nil to C Bros or one nil to Andy or nil nil. Like they are like the three options. There's not like there's not no one's going to score and then like it be one one or anything like or two nil. It's just, this is this is it. Uh, I mean, I, I, like yeah, I get what you're saying, Jim. But there's every like there is a potential that if Andy gets a sniff to score, he might want to score while he's still got people who can fucking score. With. Yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> that's I mean, true. he's down to two at the moment, so that's I mean, true. obviously, zombies can score, but. Yep. <laughs> yes, yes. It's funny as well because when a dodge guy got two D, the dodge saved him, didn't it? And then the other times, it's just like, <laughs> it's just like, please hit my non dodge guys. Enjoy your banging. But yeah, like that's the thing. You've got you've got to take the hits, haven't you? Because at the end of the day, like I got my uh, I got my wolf killed against. Uh, Against Sol, and it just happens, doesn't it? You know, the fleshy killed against Seabros. Like, it, it, any hit can kill anybody, can't it? And yeah, especially with only three players that can handle the ball decently. That was a huge removal. Huge removal. Is this like huge. 10v10 now, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah, great match, Jim. Quick maths. Well, it's because I looked at the bench, but the bench was the dead guy come back, wasn't it, Apple? That's oh. enough, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shit player to Apple. Would he have been saved by Dodge? Yes, <laughs> but it's just uh, it's just numbers at this point. I think that was an instant Apple because yeah, this is the final drive, one way or another. Right hand side is a bit is a bit weak now as well, isn't it? With this uh, this zombie holding. He was very lucky to get the power on the first hit there. Yeah. Oh, this is, you can turn the corner here, see, bros? Depends, oh, where this, where, depends where the ghoul goes, I guess. He's got to punch the assassin as well, hasn't he? Cause otherwise, he's stabbing the wraith. Yeah, for free. Depends where the ghoul goes. Not far enough. Oh, oh he gets that power. Look at dog. I mean, you've got to blitz this zombie and turn the corner here. There's no... Yeah. There's no I mean, you, might, you, you could just dodge past him, actually. Three, four, five, six... Seven. No, you probably, you've probably got to you've got to blitz him, I guess. Blitz this guy, turn the corner. Yeah, I think you just stand the assassin and keep him on the wraith as well. Yeah, maybe. Keeping him on a bludger, that's a pretty good trade. Dodger. Dodgered him. Oh, of course he is. Fucking what? <laughs> Keep calling this assassin a bludger. It's because like, I just don't see dark elves that have dodged and don't have block. Like, what is that? What is that? If they started with bro block, they'd be pretty fucking good players, to they be fair. They would be, yeah. If yeah. you just swapped stab and, stab and <laughs> shadowing for block, they'd be so much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give them movement 8 while you're at it and leap. Mm, I would, actually. I would make assassins <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah. That's what they should be. Assassins were fucking heroes. Assassins in, in Warhammer would just beat an entire fucking unit by themselves. And, like, mm. dancers were a good unit, but they were still just men. Whereas assassins were, like, fucking, you know, 150-point heroes and stuff. Like, it was crazy that, that like, they made assassins just dog shit. I hate this from Seabros. I, I really yeah. like I loved going up here. You just get past him completely. This just doesn't do anything. Well, no, like, what he's thinking is it's just too early. Like, he's thinking it's too early to go around that corner. Because if you go around that corner, you might get forced in, or it's just a bit weaker. And it was, it's, like, he could get pinned on that sideline, and then he could be in a lot of trouble. So, mm -hmm. and I, this think, gets I think, this like, guy back as well, right? This gets this Yeah, back. honestly, I think, I think it may be, like, I mean, it's going to look terrible if it doesn't work out, but. I don't mm. hate it. I don't think it's garbage. He's got to accept this with two rooms. Um, 
So there's no sudden death in this machine because it's a league, so this is just a draw. If you mean in Blood Bowl 3 in general, um, it's just a straight roll off. Um, re rolls don't matter anymore. Number of re rolls don't matter anymore. You're like, you, you're on that get forward, get forward <laughs> hype train again, aren't you, Jimmy? Well, yeah, <laughs> against, against stand firm and sidestep guarders, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, I am. Okay, no, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I am really, I am really all for getting past strength four stand firm players. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I like getting past those. And he was past them for free that turn, and now he's, he's left not. the middle like a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah bringing the fleshy. And now, like now, how does he turn the like? He's got a corner turn here, but he's now he's miles away, so he can't turn the corner here. And if he moves over there, then obviously Andy will just move the things over as well. So. Well, maybe he won't. Maybe maybe he's gonna get through here. Uh, the one wall. into one. I was thinking about rerolling it. Huh? Yeah, I think he maybe was. Mate, stab the fucking wolf, <laughs> kill it, and then then he's only got a goal left. And then it's like, <laughs> oh my god. It's giving him a chain. Yeah. No, no, I guess it's got. Uh... I mean, you could go this turn now. You could one D blitz this guy and knock him over, and then go through there. Isn't oh, here we go. He's, he's yeah, got a plan. He comes the emote. <laughs> he's got a plan. Oh, he was emoting because he's stabbing the wall. You can three two here to get the witch down. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't mind going all the way round the left-hand sides, and then hitting the far furthest on the left zombie because yeah, he's doing the one you... D through here. Oh, that oh, that's silly shit, though. So right. shit. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I know it sounds. I know that's the dimmy thing. Oh, I wouldn't have done that, but I wouldn't have done it with the wrestler because he's defenseless, right? Yeah, and this is why I like going around the outside. You just can't reach. That's the problem, right? Like, you, if you go around the, if you try and go around the outside this turn, you're just not getting around the outside. Whereas if you punched up here, you would got clear through, which is, would have been pretty good. But it had to have been with a block player. But you're like, I mean, that golem on the right. If, if, like, if you set yourself up to go left, the golem on the right is not going to do nothing. You can, like, you can just like, well, he's already tagged, right? This golem's already tagged. This guy can't get there; he's too far away. At least he's got a two plus out there. Yeah, that's gonna draw some attention back behind Davos' lines. Yeah, that's a, that's it a, has that's to a be nice dealt two with. plus. That's a nice two plus. Yeah. yeah I'd have gone up there, but this is fine. He could go is there and punch the. Yeah, uh, he could punch the wolf, couldn't he? Like it's pretty good punching the wolf. Yeah, I mean, punching the wolf. Oh, mate, if, if this is a removal, <laughs> it's not. It could have been. Oh god, goes for the four plus dodge. Luckily, he doesn't get his armor broken. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> this is going to be. This is a really important turn for Andy. Yep. Yep. Seabro stayed alive for a turn. But again, like as as Art says, you know, like if Andy gets a square wrong here, it can be fatal. Like this is this is why the deck is good, even even against good players, because good players can put a player in the wrong square as well. And if he puts a player in the wrong square or a couple of players in the wrong squares, then all of a sudden, there's a breakthrough and it's GG. Yeah. Well, I guess like the golem's gonna go and stand where the wraith is, and the wraith's gonna go to the outside zombie behind it. I think uh, he'll base. I think he'll. I think he'll base up. He likes to be very aggressive. I guess these all these three players on the ground though means that maybe that is gonna, maybe the three players on the ground is gonna uh, cool Andy's ambitions a bit. It's awkward, yeah, because you. It's very, very awkward. Mm. He's got to put a side step on the outside. And I think he needs to put a zombie behind. Or maybe put the zombie in front and put the side step behind it. But 
You could just put the side stuff on the edge, right? Yeah. Gets the power there. It's pretty huge. Huge, yeah. No AV break is huge. He's got to do something about that Dark Elf in the backfield. I know it's just a distraction, but he's got to do something. Decoy Octopus, isn't it? Um, problem is, anything anything he does now to draw a deal with that problem is going to cause problems for his defense. Yeah, for his, the, his, his line, yeah. I don't I think, think he's left enough on the left-hand side here. He's got the zombie, but that can only move one square. Yeah, he's going to hold the side. Yeah, hold the side with the side step here. Yeah. Ooh, foul well, on the witch. Removal. Maybe, maybe he's going to blitz the uh, zombie, knock him down next to the ghoul, and then jump over him and hand off to the geezer. <laughs> he could, yeah, he could just go one, two, three. Oh, it's a three plus jump, mate. Four, it's five, a three plus six, jump. Seven, GFI handoff. Yeah, and then Bob's he's your gone. Father's brother. And it's, it's 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 he needs to power the zombie, but it's a two D. And then it's a three plus, two oh, plus, wow. two into one. That's uh, the this is good though. He gets these out on twos. Yeah, he get he gets these into two in two pluses out though, which is good, isn't it? And he gets to move over this side. There's a lot of stuff over here for Andy, so getting to move over here is pretty is pretty decent. They are his faster pieces though, right? Yeah, well. Two of them are zombies, but yeah. And he's got this guy who can kind of link up a little bit by going over here. The link up play. Oh, mate, he had a 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, just to like literally run away. Yeah, that was pretty good, I, I think, actually. Yeah, assist there, blitz him, pow him, and then, and one, then jump two, over three, him, yeah. 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI handoff, and then he runs it. It might use both his rerolls. You don't you don't knock the zombie forth, directly yeah. backwards. You you knock the zombie next it to the goal, and then, you, but then you're jumping you're jumping one square to the right, so you're not doing the GFI afterwards. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe that's better. Sorry, I didn't think it mattered, but it yeah. you, you, it could have done. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can just dodge. Yeah, you can just dodge. You can just dodge past. Yeah. That'd be three three two, wouldn't it, with dodge? Yeah, right. it wouldn't be as good as a jump. Yeah, right, yeah. Just a three plus, but then the three plus, the, so the three plus is better if you're willing to use. Well, the you, you don't use the extra movement as well because to do the three plus dodge, you're going one square further. Yeah, left yeah, you'd be going miles, yeah. above the ghoul direct. Oh right, yeah. So we say knock the zombie directly back and then go from the zombie's square. But then that's, there's a there's a fucking wraith here. That's yeah, no, that's a four plus nine. Four, same. three, two. Unless it's yeah, uh, don't know. Don't know, Jeff. I don't know, Jeff. This is rough in it, man. See, bro, I have no idea what he's doing. No, I don't think he does either. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think we're past. Oh, what's he done here? Ah. Uh... Uh, this is a boo boo. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> is this the attack bait? This it's is one the, of them. It's a Paravale screen, isn't it? This isn't. This isn't easy though. It's yeah. I mean, it's well. You can free the wolf if he powers that okay, guy. Okay, he's the powers the witch. It's, yeah, it's yeah, getting yeah, easier. Yeah. It's a three plus for a two D into two D. Yeah, <laughs> this was just a massive fuck up. Yeah, he should have been one square back. Obviously, this. This guy should be one square down. Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell where fucking wraiths are. It's crazy. It's crazy how hard it is to tell where wraiths are. It's it's cost me. It's cost me like results before I think, or at least cost me positions. Uh, maybe cost me the game versus Andy actually in the uh, in the math qualifier. Because I'd have done a completely different decision if I'd known where the fuck it was. <laughs> that's, that's a really, really good push for Seaport, is that one? He's still got the second yep. chance, though, right? He's still got the, still got the first Yeah, chance. but it, it turns it from a 1... It, it turns it from a 2D into 2D for, into a 1D into 2D. No, 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 he's still, he's still got the fleshy to punch. 
Yeah, yeah, he's got the flash. Oh, yeah, he can use the flash. Never mind. Don't mind me. Errata, errata! <laughs> <laughs> might even 3D it as well. Follow up and 3D this. But it's still it's another one in nine block that you... No, 3D it. Do. 3D it. 3D. 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 Because he really needs the power now. Well, the problem is, like, even if he powers the ball carrier... Oh, he's doing the I guess. Now, is it? Yeah, yeah the I goal. have to do the GFI. I think he should have punched before you did the GFI, buddy. <laughs> well, no, because if he won in 27s, he's not tagged the ball, right? So. But he'd have to, he's got a GFI, so or whatever it was. For it was the oh, gets classic. the pal. AV break, classic Dave or Kaz. <laughs> I mean, this this was Seaport was his fault, right? This it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this isn't like anything. That's a great scatter for Seabros. Now he just goes yep. for the handoff breakaway. Oh, the ghoul's still in play, right? So he's yeah. got. He just, I guess, the ghoul just goes and stand. Well, he can't stand above the ball because the assassin's there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Uh, I guess he goes for the pickup, right? I guess five can he get can't he can't One, do it it's two, like three, a five four, plus dodge. Five, six, oh, yeah. Yeah, or he plus can plus double GFI the Wraith into the square above it. Like so the Quatrix top yeah, right. On the Quatrix, yeah. That's it, yeah. So now he just has to stab the Wraith, right? Yeah, stab the Wraith to open the turn, hundred percent. It's a lot of three pluses this turn. Yeah, I think he has to, to try and go for the, the breakaway uh, play. Oh, he rolled the six. I guess it's the pow. Will he scatter it? Uh, no, he can't. Can he? No. No, you scatter here. You do? What are you? Well, the only good thing would be is if the assassin catches it. But yeah, if it goes, if it goes, there's fifty-fifty. It's a shit scatter for you, so if it's it, interesting. Yeah. We'll find out in yeah, it's 10 a, hours. It's a, it's a tough choice because it, obviously it could be really good for you to scatter it, but it yeah, could also I don't be bad. So what is this? This is a 3 plus pickup. 4 plus dodge. 3 plus dodge. 2 plus dodge. 2 plus handoff and you're away. Plus he's got the blitz, right? So he could try blitzing... The he goal. could try blitzing the wraith, right? And try and power it. <laughs> or blitz the ghoul, uh, I don't know. And then he could, no, he can't really do, he can't do a lot. One, two, three, four. Maybe he just five. dodges in, picks it up, dodges back out, and lobs it. Mm. But that seems a bit shit. But yeah, he, he can run over to, to the left. Through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dodge through and hand off to him is amazing, isn't it? It's just too amazing it to is. do. I think you just do it because it's so fucking good. How does he want to do the ghoul, though? He has to pick the ball up and blitz with the ball, and then he can't hand it off. The so. witch. No, the, he's in the way. So the witch then would then do the handoff. So one, two, um, three, four, that's five, six, seven. Yeah, so you, you, but then it's, that's just like a three plus, two plus, three plus. Yeah, that is better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is better. The, the witch does it now. One, two, three, four. So that's a three plus, two plus. 3 plus 2 plus, which is better than a 4 3, isn't it? Yeah, he yeah, should have stood that line up though, right? I guess. No, nah, he, can, he can dodge off and like screen at the end. Tag the ray from the goal or something. Yeah. Oh! Mm. No, no, he's going to hand off and run, isn't he? He's he hands off to range. the Yeah, but I would have still, yeah. still moved, the, I would have still kept those to the end, but never mind. 1, right. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI hand off. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a play. Good spot by C. Rose and Art. <laughs> He did declare the handoff. Doesn't use dodge. No, oh no, one in nines. Oh. <laughs> Alright, and uh, where's the goal? The goal's free of ball. I think Andy's won this. I think he has, yeah. I think so too. I think the the multiple chances for Seabros <laughs> to do something and he didn't do it, you know, has cost him. Well, like it was, it was the last well, turn. That, the last turn was one that cost him because he didn't fucking screen the ball, right? Yes, so, like, yeah, yeah, true, true. Like, true. Th like that is just a massive yeah, error. That, the end, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Like, other it, than that, I can't. Uh, like, obviously, you look back at the first half and not declaring the pass with the witch mm. on turn eight or turn seven. Sorry, they're the two massive errors that cost him the game, right? I think it's a Seabrawls esque mistake. Like sometimes he just makes one brain fart 
during a game. But yeah, that was a pretty massive brain fart, to be honest. It was. Um, yeah. yeah. And you can't switch off against Andy because he doesn't give up, right? That's one thing about Andy. That, like, you get some big guys who go, oh, I'm done here. But I mean, Andy's never like that. Or rarely like that, I guess. It, but of course, it does sometimes. Yeah, yeah, the turn line of sack was shit, but I st still think he should have gone for, like, things before then. But, yeah. Yeah. That was obviously yeah, just absolutely shit and wrong. <laughs> you should have pressured the breakthrough a lot earlier. Yeah. yeah. I didn't like I didn't mind a jump over, a jump over hand off to be honest. Yeah, there was a few things he there was a few things he could have done like I just think he should have been a bit more aggressive to turn the corner when he had the chance. Yeah. And like honestly, the two turn for Andy isn't looking great with um like the limited players he's got, right? He's, he's got like right, one of them. He'd have the wolf back, right? Yeah. And he might have the ghoul back as well, so he could have. He could have max it, players left, and he's got three re rolls, so. Oh, but at least you at least you can only draw, right? At least if you score, you can only draw. You can't possibly lose. Whereas now, oh, you yeah, can exactly, definitely yeah. possibly lose. That's the biggest thing. What doesn't get him? Yeah. So now the only the only thing that really can save T Boy is a one in nine right? So. And the uh and the fucking stab. God like scatter. A stab. A ball stab. Oh No. Well there was the first one in nine. Yeah, that was his pickup dice, wasn't it? <laughs> what a genius. <laughs> yeah. What an absolute genius. Irrelevant block to burn the 1 9 pickup. Genius. <laughs> so, anyway, a chain in this assassin onto the ball. Yeah, he completes the wall. So. No. No, you he can't. can't stand firm, yeah, stand yeah, firm. Stand firm, yeah. It's a fucking good skill on it. It's pretty good, yeah. So it's a six plus dodge in. There is there is a way of of getting the assassin onto the ball. Yeah, it's six plus dodge in. <laughs> no, 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 with a chain. What? Fill all you of the squares. You can fill up, fill all the squares, then block or blitz. <laughs> Sorry, you need to blitz. Fill all the squares. It's only three. Yeah. Doable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that bad, right? One, two, three, four. And five, that leaves six, you with the GFI, witch for GFI. recovery. Yeah, double it leaves GFI. You with a witch and a blitzer for recovery. And then this guy double GFIs. Yeah, four GFIs. Yeah, four GFIs. Yeah, yeah, you've got to do it. You've got to do it, yeah. Yeah, you just literally have to. It's shit, but you have to do it. Four GFIs in a dodge. Oh, maybe only maybe only maybe less he's moving seven, isn't he? No, no, it is. Yeah. You wanna you wanna blitz oh, from the horrendous. Yeah. It's it's not I mean, it's it's the best line possible you can take, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he's also got the dodge out with the blitzer, and then just jump over his own downed player. Oh no, you can't get to that rear square. And it's uphill. Yeah, I mean, uphill's better. Yeah, it's, up, so, it's uphill that's with block. Six. That's still a six against no block. Yeah, it's still, it's still, a, still six, a six. Though, yeah. Well, this if he stabs the zombie, if he stabs the zombie or the golem, he can make it a five. Or you could stab the zombie for the to make it a five with uh I mean then you can just dodge it on a five and a one D. But no, nah, it's gotta be better to fill all the squares and blitz this and uh I think it's better to uh, fill I mean, the if, squares. If, well if he stabs the golem he removes the guard, right? It's, um... Yeah, on a one in sixty. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta I mean... be better. It's gotta be better to uh to fill the squares and chain the assassin. That has to be the play. It just has to be. Can he not chain? He can chain the witch on the floor to do a jump up hit and chain the ghoul out, right? Oh no, he still has to fill that bottom square. Yeah, he could, no. yeah, but it'd be an uphill. The problem is it'd be an uphill. Oh god, he's filled the first dice roll. Double does one. It does it double it? one. <laughs> All of that instant double one. Oh man. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve. <Super. laughs> no, keep laughing, Jimmy. Keep laughing. Oh Instant my god! Double one. God, I love Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Flip me. Yeah, I feel bad for Steve, but he definitely did it to himself. I think Andy. Andy must have like found this game stressful as well. 
Oh yeah. I, I, popped, in, I popped into a stream when he almost got double surfed on his drive and he looked <laughs> frustrated. <laughs> yeah. And he caused his own problems on his own drive, right? Like, it was just the same as his game versus me. Just bang, 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 don't care about the ball. Then, whoops a daisy. <laughs> Suddenly, there's a whole team in between me and the ball. I didn't really think about this. <laughs> yep. It's a weird thing. It's a, such a weird thing for one of the best players to continuously do. But he does. It's, from what I've seen, it's only an online problem, though. Like, he's very different over the board. Hmm. Am I wrong in being tempted to score here? Yeah. No, you don't give the Dark Elves a one turn. Well, with two stand firmers and a sidestep bar. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> like honestly, like, I think, I think just scoring might. I I think I may have just scored. Like, tell me if I'm wrong. I might be it's wrong. It's got two rerolls. It, it's very safe. It's very safe, isn't it? Like, he can, like, full HK to this. I guess there is the timeout as well, right? So it's just... You could literally meet cube this if you wanted to. Well, he's got to do a load of blockless... Well, he's got to do a blockless blitz... Oh, no, he's, he can just punch... He's already blitzed there. Yeah. Really well. But he's, he's got to do this blockless punch with a zombie, right? And then... Yeah. Get the column around the back. But, like, there's no guard on that left side. So he's got a 3-2... And then, like, he can come in between. Whoa! <laughs> it's quite mad how, like, the assassin is, like, an option that's, like, really frustrating to play against, right? Because you don't see him that often. And... He's good in the current meta with the way that the Eurobowl rules are set up. Like, you're expecting to meet a lot of Amazon, a lot of Dark Elf, a lot of Wood Elf, a lot of Skaven. So it's just it just makes sense to have the assassin. It ma it makes sense because he's free is the big thing, right? Like yeah. if you've got to pay for him and he's got to leech SPPs off your good players, he's shit. But if you don't yeah. have to pay 15k for him because otherwise you just like buy nothing, you buy like fucking assistant coaches or whatever. He's better than he's just a wood elf lineman, and if he never stabs and he never shadows, he's just a wood elf lineman. And why not have a wood elf lineman in your dark elf team? Like it's fine, right? Yeah. Exactly. He, he can come in that like left side here and one D the ghoul. He's got a dodge with the blitzer on the wraith. Yeah, he could he could one D the ghoul or he could go for the stab. No. I guess it's uh, just power him. But then this is still uphill, right? It's... Well, he can stab. He can stab, right? He can stab. Uh... He can stab him, wrath. Just go around the houses. How's one, he getting two, three, this? four, five, six, seven, G, five, G, five. Ah, oh, but he's gone there. Which makes he did sidestep to the correct score. Oh, he might remove him. He might... Oh, he's done. <laughs> so now he's got to go like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. So he's got to go three, three, two, and then stab him. It's all with dodge skill, thankfully. Yeah. I mean, he has. I think he just has to. Yeah. Hard agree. Yeah, he could move his own player out of the way first. Yeah, yeah, this guy could just go there. And then it's still one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Wait, so now can he go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? No, he's still got to go. He's still got to go three, three, two, but it means it saves the GFI. Yeah, it saves the GFI. You should bring that other Lino back before he's he got it. He's right? got it. He's got oh, it. The stab. Come on, stab it. Oh, it. oh dice! Oh, he's one shot! <laughs> Again, one he, stabbed, he stabbed a ghoul twice and rolled seven both times. Diced again. Comedy mega. Yeah, the stab is always a kick. It's so stupid that the stab doesn't actually have a stab animation like the assassin. And like, yeah, it doesn't really matter, but it's just one of those polished things that it kind of does matter, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is just a 2D, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Literally as simple as it was after all that. <laughs> this guy probably could have maybe gone there to tag, and then that would have made it a GFI at least. But there you go, 1 0 win for Andy. Um, Amazing, really, wasn't it? Because that was a, that was su such a scare on his own drive. That was a real 
I bet that was squeaky bum time for Andy the whole way. And then C bros. Yeah, a few times he could have he could have broken through and didn't really try, did he? And then eventually he just he just broke up his own broke up his own cage by being really stupid. <laughs> Eventually he failed his really <laughs> stupid <laughs> sleep deprived role and uh, and that was it. But very good game I thought. Very super exciting and interesting. Thank you very much Hargrim and Dimmy. You're most welcome Jimmy. No thoughts from Dimmy on that match? I thought it was a good match. <laughs> it was a good, you know, it was a decent match and uh, yeah, he'll be kicking himself for about turn whatever it was, 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. And yeah, rolling uh, seven on the ghoul stabs. T twice he got to stab ghouls, didn't he? Eight plus, and both times he rolled a seven. Diced. Yep. Um, so there you go. Right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.